Hey guys, welcome to another Spigot tutorial, and today it's on the TNT Run Reloaded minigame. So this is a really fantastic plugin which is very easy to set up, it's highly customizable and it has a ton of cool features. So the first thing we want to do is the TRCMDS, and that's going to show you all the commands we need to do in order to set it up. So go ahead and go to your lobby where all the players are going to meet and do TR setup and then set lobby. This is going to set the global lobby. The next command we need to do is actually the creation command by doing TR setup followed by create and then the arena name which is going to be test. Once we've done this we need to select the arena bounds. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can do a command or you can use world edit. So if we do four slash wand that is going to give us a world edit wand. So left click the top corner and then go to the bottom and right click the bottom corner to create a cuboid. Once you've done that do the TR setup set arena command for test and that is going to set the bounds of it. So the important thing when setting a lose level is to make sure it's inside the bounds that you set with the previous command and what we're going to do is use the command this time to set our location by doing TR setup set P1 in one of the corners. And then I'm going to travel over to the other one and repeat the command just putting a number 2 instead. And then we can do the TR setup set lose level command to set the level. So now that we've done that we can go back to the top of the arena and set some spawn points. Now you don't have to set a specific amount, just as many as you want. So do TR setup set spawn and then for the arena test that sets one of them and then just move about a bit setting a few more in different places obviously people were running around very quickly after so it doesn't matter where they are really and then after that we want to set a spectator location so this also has to be within the arena bounds so i'm going to just set it here in the corner so set spectate for test. So if we do the forward slash TR setup set bar color, you can change what color the bar is. So I'm going to set it to purple. And then we can also set the minimax players. So min players for test is going to be two. And then obviously we could repeat this command to do max players for test as four. So another pretty cool command is setting rewards for first, second, and third place. So if we do TR setup set reward for test it now gives us the option which ones we want to do so let's type in first place and then we want a material and then it's going to be a diamond and then how many it's going to be two would you like to add a custom display name no and then it has been saved we want to add another yes and then we could obviously do stone 32 no and then no and then another thing we can do is set the fee to enter the arena so the amount is going to be one and then obviously you want to set the material so go ahead and set currency for test and it's going to be a diamond so just one of those to enter the arena so there's a couple of additional commands we can do so we can do the tr setup set countdown for the arena and it was 10 seconds by default but we could up it to 30. so we can also set teleport now this is going to decide where you go after the game so we can go back to the lobby or your previous location and then the last thing we can set up is the time limit so if people are very good at this how long do you want the arena to go on for so you could do 60 seconds for example once we're happy with everything we can do tr setup finish test and then if you ever want to make any changes you'll need to disable it make a change and then re-enable it afterwards so now that it's been enabled we can go ahead and do tr join followed by test but obviously we need that one diamond in order to enter so i'm going to pick one up here do the command and then we have joined so up at the top we've got a purple bar minimum two players current is one and we've got some different items here so we can vote to force start the game but obviously no one else could vote info if you right click this it tells you the plugin version the website and the author so then we have the shop where you can buy various items like potions and swords to help you out during the game and then your stats here so games played zero wins losses zero so as you can see my other account has joined and it is counting down three two one and then the game will begin and as you can see my account is obviously not moving so he's going to lose pretty much immediately but that is what it looks like so I came first and I get some rather nice fireworks you can see in chat 
and then it has rewarded me with two diamonds and 32 stone. So that is how you would set it up in game. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward and it's highly customizable. Let's head over to the spigot page now. So here we are on the spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.16 to 1.19. You've got to have Java 16. But if we scroll down, we got a description and then down here we have all of the commands and the permissions required to do certain things for players. But that is how you would download and use it. As you can see, it's a fantastic plugin. It's very well made and it works fantastically. So if you want to download it, head over to the Spigot page. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next week.